Hello and welcome to All for Hunters. Today I would like to introduce you to the Hick Micro Harbrock 4K with the wonderful number HE25LN. The Harbrock 4K is an observation device that enables observation in several spectra. I have a day vision channel, an ER night vision channel, and I have a thermal imaging channel, and the whole thing is completed with a laser rangefinder. Today in this video we take a look what the whole thing looks like in practice. We are using a high seat over there as a reference for the product test. And the first thing we are going to do is laser it at a distance of 280 meters according to this device. And I always have my reference device with me here and we'll take a look through it. We lasered 280 meters with the hub rock and the reference device also says 280 meters. Now let's take a look at the different modes. I'm now in day vision mode. Of course I can now also switch to night vision mode, that's no problem with the digital device and as you can see it works wonderful. ER illumination is off. Of course, we also have a special automatic mode for the night, where the device looks to see which ER mode it needs to select in order to brighten up, or if needs to brighten it up at all. But we remain in day vision mode. And now let's take a look at the night vision mode, or the thermal imaging mode, and you will notice the first issue. The image is not badly adjusted in terms of distance, but this is what you get in terms of resolution. There really is only a small thermal imaging sensor installed here. This helps you to detect game, for example, but also to find game after a shot. However, in order to be able to offer the device in this price range, it does not have a high resolution thermal imaging sensor. This means that we have here a device that is actually more suitable for day or twilight. At night it works wonderful with the ER mode. The thermal imaging mode, as previously mentioned, has been slimmed down in order to save costs on the device and to be able to offer it at a price point of less than 1500 euros. All the other functions of the Harbrook series are included. I have a GPS in it, I also have a compass. I've already mentioned the rangefinder and it's very easy to use. And the 4K version also has a really high resolution photo and video function. And we are now going to take a look at this in practice and hope that we get some game in front of the camera so that I can show you what the device can actually achieve in terms of image resolution.
In terms of basic magnification, the device has a basic magnification of 5.5x in the optical channel and can then be zoomed up to 11x and 22x. I actually have to say that at 11x you can still work well with it because of the high resolution sensor. Anything above that, it's in digital magnification of course, really does affect the image quality at the end. But 5.5x to 11x, it's wonderful to work and spot with. And of course, as we are used to from Hikmicro, everything can be proceed digitally. In other words, of course you can record videos, can take pictures, but can also follow and watch the whole thing live on your cell phone via the Hikmicro app. Or I can give my phone to someone else to watch what I'm watching. By the way, also an interesting device really for wildlife observation. So not just for hunters, either, but also for amateur bird watchers and wildlife observers. An excellent device for observing, photographing and filming all in one. I call it an all-inclusive solution. For the thermal imaging modes, Hikmicro relies on the classic modes. In other words, we have a white-hot, black-hot, fusion and red-hot mode. In this case, fusion is actually the color mode. In other words, the device displays a kind of, I call it rainbow scale, on which you can recognize the thermal imaging signature. Fusion mode does not mean what we are used from the Griffin series, for example, that the device can combine the night vision and the thermal imaging channels into one image. This does not work with the Hard Rock series. Back in the studio, there were just too many mosquitoes outside and we can now discuss the details together here in the studio. Among other things, I would like to talk about the operation of the Harbrock 4K. As with the other Harbrock devices or the Raptor series, for example, the controls are located on the top of the device so that I have easy access to all the controls while I am using the device. And the operation is actually quite simple. Even the six buttons seem like a lot at the first, it doesn't take long to figure out how to use them. The front right button on the operator side switches through the picture mode and the imaging view modes. A quick press, then I can switch through the imaging modes in sequence so to speak. The optical channel, the thermal imaging channel and the different modes of the thermal imaging channel. In other words, the color profiles of the imaging channel. If I'm in optical mode, a long press on the button switches between IR mode and night vision mode or day vision mode or automatic mode. Behind this is the menu button. A short press takes me into the menu, a long press takes me back out of the menu. And in the menu I can use the other buttons to navigate through. Right behind is the button for switching through the different magnification levels. The on off switch is on the left hand side. A long press switches the device on or off. If the device is switched on, I can switch to standby mode or waking the device up again with a short press on this button. The photo button is located in the middle on the left hand side. A short press triggers a picture, a long press starts the video recording which also records an audio signal. And the first button on the left hand side facing you is the button for the laser distance measurement. Pressing this button triggers a distance measurement for 50 seconds. By the way, I can switch the interval in the menu, whether I want to have a single measurement or whether I want to have a multiple measurement for a certain time of interval. I would also like to make a special mention to the power supply. The device is powered by two 18650 rechargeable batteries. And the highlight? Of course I need both batteries for a long operation time in order to achieve the 8 hours plus, but should I notice that the batteries are slowly getting weaker, I can swap them without having to switch the device off. To remove one battery on the side and the device continues to run on the other battery. The displays then shows me which battery compartment is certainly responsible for the power supplies. And then I can simply insert a fresh battery first on the one side and then of course on the other side and then I have supplied the device with two fresh batteries without having to switch it off. The adjustability of the IP side is just well thought out. In other words I can adjust the eye relief to suit me the best. Not in the same way as with classic binoculars by bending them together, but by sliding the eye pieces. And then of course I having the optic compensation. They also have very flexible eye cups. 
And what I really, really like are the side shields, because you actually use the device primarily during the day or at the dusk. And if you still have a bit of side light, then this is shielded perfectly by these sides without glare. The USB port has also become a little bit more versatile. I can use it to connect the device to a PC and for example load firmware onto the device or transfer photos and videos directly to the PC. I can now actually use it to charge the two batteries then they are installed in the device. This means that compared to previous devices I no longer need to take the charging case for the batteries with me as I can charge the batteries directly if necessary. At the end, like always, the conclusion. Who is the device for? I would say the device is interesting for both hunters and outdoor enthusiasts. It is an arounder for observation, but it is not a specialist for a special purpose. The small image sensor, for example, makes it possible to locate game and detect it in the fields at greater distances. However, it is not high resolution enough to be able to respond in full detail. On the other hand, I have a high resolution 4K sensor that works in both. IR night vision mode and daylight mode and delivers sharp images. And paired with the function of recording videos and images, I also have the option of monitoring wild animals, for example, and not only identifying wild animals, but also photographing and filming them, and for example, creating an inventory of the game in my hunting ground. The same also applies to nature observers. Of course, I see a bird, but I can't identify it directly. I simply press the record button to take a photo or video and can can then look it up again at home in my bird book. What exactly did I observe? So in the end, as I said, it is an arounder that can also be used with a laser rangefinder and an ER illuminator to expand the spectrum of observation. If you want to find out more details about the device, take a look at the article on all for hunters We will link you to it below where you can find out even more especially about the technical specifications of the device. Now there's only one thing left to say. Thank you for watching and I look forward to welcoming you to the next video here on All for Hunters.